What's going on everybody? Jake the Happy Snake here and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yesterday, ah, yesterday I got a $16,000 question wrong and it was not the audience's fault, but it, it, it actually kind of is their fault because they have led me to not, like, they have gotten me to the point where I don't trust them at all. Uh, I was going for 16000 I asked the audience, I 50 50 after that, the two most popular answers that the audience chose were left and... I decided to go with the second most popular rather than the, the most popular chosen by the audience. And, of course, I was wrong. It was, the audience was actually right for once. And, like, I can't catch a break with this. This week has been awful. I've won $3,000 this week. That's it. That's all I've won this week. So today, I'm going to change that. So, my overall total right now, $19,516,364. Let's end the week with a really, really strong game. Both of my half million, half million dollar wins in this version have been on a Friday. Actually, the one was continued on to a Monday, but it was from Friday's game. So, I'm gonna play his hang again, because his phone and friend was good for me yesterday. Look, I just wanna, honestly, I'm not joking. I wanna end on, on, on a win that's more than $1,000. If I have to walk with 2,000 for that to happen, then I'll go into the weekend being satisfied. I'm not even kidding. All right, let's let's take a look at the uh, last one hundred dollar question of the week. What is the name of the cowboy in Toy Story? That would be Woody D, and that is my final answer. For two hundred dollars, which of these countries' flags is not red, white, and blue? Switzerland. If all the questions could be could be about flags, I would probably. I'm not even kidding. I'd probably get to the. At least the $32,000 question without using the lifeline. So I'm pretty good with flags. Okay. For 300 What can you find on sea ice? Penguins. Alright. For $500. What does Charlie need to find in the beginning of Raul Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Golden Ticket. I have not seen that movie in a very long time, but I do remember it being a Golden Ticket because I, I did see it a few times. I got it for Christmas 2006, and I think I did watch it a few times because I had no life uh, when I was when I was eight, just like right now, how, how I have no life. Uh, what is the name of the virus that spread around the world in 2020 that forced several countries to go into confinement? We all know that. And... Okay. Yesterday I talked about optimism. It's time to be optimistic. Uh, optim optimistic? Okay. Optimistic. We are 10 questions away from the million. I've got all four quote-unquote lifelines. The Okay, it's a llama, right? I, I remember this because I got this wrong once. Uh, the, the iconic animal of Fortnite, a llama. C. I remember that because of Tony. Tony Vlacos in Survivor. In his first season when he was imitating a llama. It was the funniest thing. Okay, that's $2,000. Six out of six. The next question is for... 4,000. Which of these squirrels does not exist? Um, the munchkin. Okay. Alright guys, now here comes the dreaded $8,000 question. I have yet to get past this, this next level without using a lifeline this week. The, the black circle in the center of an eye is the pupil. Woo! <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's keep going. I've never been so excited getting the $8,000 question right. Okay. Question number nine now for 16000 How many branches does a, does a classic fidget spinner have? That is three. That's a real... I've had this question before. That's a really easy $16,000 question. Okay, guys! One question away from the $32,000 guaranteed level, and I have all my, like I said earlier, quote-unquote, lifelines. This is for $32,000. If I have to use all four on this question, then I will do just that. For $32,000. What kind... What the heck? This is... There's no way this can... There's no way this can be this easy. Which of these musicians have never been the Beatles? There's no way it's this it's this obvious. 
The, who was the other one? It was uh, George Harrison, right? John Lennon, George Harrison, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr. So the correct answer is Brian Jones. I, I, and I don't even know who Brian Jones is. I might actually if I saw a picture of him. I'm gonna go Brian Jones. Okay, wow, that was way... That was an extremely easy $32,000 question, but I will take it, guys! If it took all week to get um, to make this happen, then I'm okay with that. It's been a crappy week, but hopefully we can end on a strong note. We're, we're five away from the million, four lifelines. This is for $64,000. What new sport will be added to the 2024 Paris Olympic Games? I'm not, I, I don't know, and I'm not comfortable with going for it. We're gonna switch the question, I think is a good idea. I gotta, I gotta real, I gotta think what's, what, what's a good strategy from here on out? I really have no idea. Break dancing, rock climbing. I, it could be anything. Wakeboarding, okay, I gotta remember that. Wakeboarding, okay, come on, give me a $64,000 question that I know the answer to, please. Please, 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 please. I'm just so glad I'm winning at least 32,000 today. What? What's wrong with the... What's wrong with the options? This has happened before. I legitimately can't... I legitimately can't even see the choices! Alright, I, I honestly can't even read those. So I'm gonna phone a friend. There's a Beyonce question for $1,000 that's um, that's got the same problem. I, I, I honestly... I'm just gonna uh, phone a friend and hope that they can give me the right answer. Let's call... I'll call Vincent again. Came through for me... Uh, what was it yesterday? I honestly can't read those. I'm gonna. I, I might. Th this is stupid. I might have to actually. Um, might actually have to burn all four. Which. Okay, come on, come on, dude. Give me the right answer. I honestly have no idea. It's a obvious the right answer. Okay, I can't read that, but we'll go with that. Okay, that's the right answer. I have no idea. I, I, I legitimately cannot read what that says, but it, it's right. Anyway, so $64,000. All right, so if I get that question, I gotta remember it's A, because I don't think this version, the options change like they did in the Game Boy Advance Australian version. Okay, this is for $125,000. Which of these games is not a popular shooter game? I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this. I don't know why. I think I've had this before. I don't remember how I got the right answer, but I believe it is Shadow Man, and I'm not really in the mood to play it safe, so I'm gonna go Shadow Man, I'm gonna go D, and I'm gonna say final answer. Please be right. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Okay. So, this shouldn't be that difficult. Three questions away from the million? Two lifelines, ask the audience, and 50-50. You know what I'm going to do? I'll use both lifelines on this if I have to. Which of these characters is not a dragon in the ring in the Wings of Fire series? Okay. So here's what I have to figure out. Do I 50-50 first, or do I ask the audience first? You know what I'm probably going to do? I'll 50-50, and then I'll ask the audience, and then I'll, go, I'll do exactly what I did yesterday. Because there's no way the audience is going to... There, there's no way. There's no way they're going to have the right answer on this question. There's absolutely no way. So let's see what we're left with. We're left with Argyll and Gray. I don't know why Argyll sounds right, but... All right, we're going to ask the audience right now. I'll, I'll probably go with the second highest. We'll see what they say. Okay, that's easy. Yeah, I was thinking... Uh... Am I stupid for doing this? Am I stupid for going with the... 72 is it's too high for a $250,000 question. Yeah, look at that, guys. I outsmarted the stupid audience. Woo! 250,000. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, we're going for half a million dollars right now. What molecule contains a cell's genetic information? So, 
This seems a little too. This seems a little too easy. Like, wouldn't it be DNA? Or am I just stupid? I uh, see. You know what, guys? I do. I'm not in the mood to get. I, I do not feel like getting this wrong. I think I should walk away because of the week that it's been. I'm really, really happy with a quarter of a million dollars. Um, I really think it's DNA, though. I mean, transfer RNA, messenger RNA, AMP. I really think it's DNA. But I'm, I, I, I would be, feel like an absolute mess if I got it wrong. So I'm, I'm just gonna do it before I, before I regret it. I'm gonna look up the answer. I really think it is. I really think like I'm like 65% sure it's DNA, but it's, it's, it's a, it's a risk that I don't feel like taking, considering what the kind of week I've had. So $250,000 is amazing. I am extremely happy with that. Uh, now I'm gonna look up the correct answer to that question, and it's probably DNA. I don't know. We'll find out. So, the correct answer to that question was DNA. So, if I had gone for it, I would have won a half million dollars. But you know what? Whatever. It is what it is. I was pretty sure about that, but I also was pretty sure that I would have been severely heartbroken if I had lost most of my quarter of a million dollars that I so rightfully deserve. Because this week has been crap. It has been absolute trash. And I just... Man, I was starting to feel really, really good. You know, when I... Like... Let's be real. I did two pretty impressive things. That, that second $64,000 question, I couldn't even read the options. And I just trusted the phone friend was correct. And then on the quarter of a million dollar question, you know, 50-50, what was it? 28% of the audience. I went with 28% of the audience rather than 72% or 71% or whatever the percentages were. And I, I and it worked out for me because, you know, I got to go against the audience. That's how I get... That's sad to get the right answer by going against the audience. Like, that's stupid. But anyways... Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm happy with that. I'm definitely happy with that um, quarter million dollar win. It would, would have been nice to have the half million dollars, but whatever. 250000 is definitely better than thirty-two. So, quarter of a million dollars added to my overall total brings it up to $19,766,364. If I had gone with DNA, won the half million, walked on the million dollar question, then I would have hit the $20 million mark to end the week, and that would have been fantastic. But you know what? Unfortunately... It didn't happen today, but it, it should happen eventually. So, guys, that is it for today. A horrible week ended off on a phenomenal note. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you all have an awesome weekend. I will see you on Monday. Peace out.